All right guys, now we're talking a pineapple tart. And one of the reasons I'm so keen on pineapple these days is you can buy from your greengrocer these wonderful pineapples that are peeled and they are cored. And the good thing about it, you can see how ripe they are, which is always a problem. I know that they say when you pull out the the, the um, stalk, not the, is it what's it called? The stalk? No, it's not called the stalk. You know, that little green bit on the top. When you pull that out and it comes out easily, it means it's ready. And then you open it up and it's rotten. Well, it's not rotten, but it's discolored. So that's why I like these. Anyway, we're making a sort of a tarty type thing. What I've got here is 100 grams of soft, unsalted butter. Make sure it's unsalted, please. 25 grams of plain flour. 100 grams of caster sugar. I think I'm making a lot here <laughs> for three tons. Good splash of vanilla extract and one egg. And then we just beat that up. So you have to make sure that the butter is reasonably soft, otherwise it won't beat up, will it? So just mash it with a spoon, first of all, and then I'll get the whisk to work. Now, I remember when I was a kid, now I'm showing my age here, 4,000 years ago, we used to get, and I think it was Golden Circle, but I don't remember, and I haven't seen it for years. Maybe it's there, you know, because I'm a bit hopeless. But we used to get a fruit salad and I always used to be amazed because it had pineapple, which is pretty logical being God in circle, but it also had, I think, banana and passion fruit in it. And it was just in the most beautiful condition. And I wondered how, even at that age, I wondered how they actually preserved those things so that they didn't go brown. Anyway, I don't know whether it's still around, but it was, and it was beautiful. Right, so we've got that mix there and we'll just put that there for a second and I've got some bought puff pastry which I've just le leave I was going to say I've just leave out I've left out so that it thaws a bit but you don't want it thawed completely a pastry cutter big one bigger than the slice of pineapple so you measure it against the slice of pineapple now I think I can get three out of here now don't ever waste this pastry let it thaw and then wrap it up I'm just going to put some of this mix on top, leaving a bit of an edge, all right? So don't spread it right to the outside. What we do is we grab some icing sugar, just put it in a fine sieve, and then icing sugar down on top. More icing sugar, quite a generous amount this time. Just carefully onto this tray, which I've put baking paper on, as you can see. Obviously you can use a baking sheet if you want and move it over so there's room for the three. Lucky I didn't do four, I was thinking of four there for a second. Now I've preheated an oven, 220 degrees. I cook it for 10 minutes and then I turn it down to 180 and cook it for another 10, all right? So that's easy. Fairly high up, 10 minutes, 220, 10 minutes, 180 and then we will start thinking about a lovely accompaniment, a planter's punch. Oh. All right, my friends, I promised you a planter's punch, but I'll just pull this out. And just out of interest, I didn't turn it down because I thought it wasn't quite ready. Now it is. <laughs> so it's all... Planter's punch. Let's start thinking about drinks. Right, some ice in a cocktail shaker. To that, we then add four teaspoons of fresh lemon juice, half a teaspoon of sugar syrup. Now you know what sugar syrup is, don't you? Sugar syrup is an equal quantity of water and sugar, which you then bring it to the boil to dissolve the sugar and let it get cold. I've also got some fresh mint there, 60 mils of good rum. Now you, you need something a bit special. What have I got here? Ron the Sakapa. Jeez, my pronunciation. It's getting worse as I get older. It's a good whack of rum isn't it i hope you like rum guys but rum and pineapple to me absolutely a marriage made in heaven to that we add a splash of angostura bitters just careful of that not too much because it is quite strong and give it a good shake i want to give it a good going over and i'll tell you why it's because of that mint in a good glass as opposed to a bad glass i've got one of my ticky glasses I love them. They're funny. 
You know, the tiki bars, they have all those interesting glasses. Well, that's one of them. And then we strain our planter's punch into that. Now you can have it as a short or a long glass. It's up to you guys. But it was originally created at the Planters Hotel in South Carolina. Aren't you glad I shared that with you? Now, I know it doesn't look like a lot, but <laughs> that is because you then add some sparkling mineral water and you also add wedge of pineapple. Just in there like that. And you mix it up and you cheers. Can I tell you something? I would add a little bit more sugar syrup. Needs a bit more. It's all right because it's just for me. Oh, that is nice. Of course, I'm as biased as hell because I made it, but it is nice. Just a sprig of mint in there. Last but not least, icing sugar. All right, pineapple tarts, and of course, a planter's punch. What does a man need in his life? I'll tell you one thing, they will be dead tasty.